Hello friends, today's lecture is on general anesthetics. Today we will discuss about what is general anesthetics drug, what is the property of general anesthetics drug, what is the classification, and by which mechanism general anesthetics drug act. Jalan anesthetics are the drug which produces reversible loss of sensation and consequences. What is the means by means by reversible loss of sensation? Reversible loss of sensation means when the, when the drug act on the body, then it not fail, it not feel any pain during uh, any surgery or injury, or when the drug when the action of drug is drug from the body is ended, then during the surgery or any injury it can feel pain. So this is simple means of reversible loss of sensation. Feature of general anesthesia are loss of all sensation is sleep pain. Second, sleep and produce amnesia. What is amnesia? Amnesia means loss of consequences means loss of memory third produce immobility and muscle relaxation these are the common feature of all the general anesthesia drug first loss of all the senses is subsidy pain second sleep and produce amnesia third immobility and muscle relaxation classification of general anesthetics drug according to the mode of administration it is classified into two types First inhalational anesthetics, second intravenous anesthetics. Inhalational anesthetics further divided into two types. First halogenated, second non halogenated. Example of halogenated anesthetics halothene in fluorine, second non halogenated anesthetics. Example of non halogenated anesthetics. Nitrous oxide cyclopropane. Example of intravenous anesthetics Theopental sodium, methoxetone sodium, and ketamine. Now we will discuss about the mechanism of action of anesthetic drug. Before the knowing of mechanism of action of anesthetic drug, first we know how the pain occur by any cut or injury. We know that the Sodium and calcium is responsible for transmitting the impulse to the brain. Then the brain reads this signal and feel pain. When injury occur, then the sodium and calcium trans uh, transmit this impulse through the nerve cell into the brain. Then this brain reads the signal and pain occur. All these anesthetic drug act by inhibiting the entry of positively charged sodium and calcium ion into the nerve cell so that the signal are not transmitted to the brain and we not feel any pain they act by inhibiting the sodium positively charged sodium and calcium ion by different mechanism this is a small part of the cell wall of nerve cell and there are different receptors present on the nerve cell. We take the example of GABA receptor. Most of the anesthetic drug act on the GABA receptor due to which hyperpolarization of the cell occur. Due to the hyperpolarization of the cell, no further sodium ion is able to enter into the cell and the signal is not transmitted to the brain and we not feel any pain during the surgery. So this is the general mechanism by which most of the anesthetic drug act and some of the anesthetic drug act on the glutamate receptor in MDA type of glutamate receptor. This is the glutamate receptor. This glutamate receptor is responsible for excitation by increasing the sodium positive ion into the cell. So some drug like nitrous oxide, ketamine directly inhibit the glutamate receptor so that the no further sodium enter into the cell due to which the signal are not transmitted to the brain and we not feel any pain during the surgery. So these are the common 
mechanism by which all the anesthetic drug act